even the greatest ones was once a beginner so don't be afraid to take the first step with this inspirational quote we are here to start our first chapter of science that is food where does it come from we will first divide this chapter into three questions that is what is food how do we take food and why food first what is food food can be defined as the substance that can be broken down into simpler forms to produce energy to perform our day to day work again food as a substance that can be broken down into simpler forms to produce energy to perform our day to day works now our second question arises why do we require food all living things need food to grow and is to stay alive other than to stay alive and from to grow what are the other necessities of the food the other necessities of the food are we get energy from the food food also help us to grow and to repair our worn out tissue we have listened na? whenever we fall down we mama says take milk we will you are worn out tissue will be get repaired soon so we also get many vitamins and minerals from the food that helps to repair our worn out tissue next important uses of food food help us to stay healthy and protect us from a various diseases food also help the vitamins and minerals and the other nutrients helps to cure the diseases also they helps to de- develop the immunity power which keeps all the diseases stay away from our body the third question from where do we get our food so we get our food from both plants and animal we get our food from both plants and animal before moving on uh, from where we get our food we will rec- recall again why do we require food so we require food to get energy from the food food also help us to grow and to repair our worn out tissue and food also help us to stay healthy and protect us from various types of diseases now let us see we get food from both plants and animal we have listened this so now just we will see how do we get food from the plants before knowing how do we get food from the plants we must know how do the plants get their foods so green plant make their food in the presence of sunlight using carbon dioxide from air and water from soil with a process called the photosynthesis again i am repeating green plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight using carbon dioxide from air and water from the soil with a process called photosynthesis and that is why they are they produce their own food that is why they are called as the producer why green plants are called their producers because they prepare their own food the extra food after utilizing the food the extra food is stored by them in their different body part the extra food prepared by the plant is stored in their different body part and this stored food is used by them in the unfavorable weather condition the extra food is used by the plant in the unfavorable weather condition now what are the f- parts of the plant that we are using as to get the food we eat the different parts of the plant as a food like we get fruits vegetables cereals and pulses from various different plant one by one we will see each part of the plant that we consume first roots we eat the roots of the various plants such as carrot radish turnip sweet potato and beetroot we also eat the stems of various plants we step eat the stems of of the plants like sugar plain plant and it is also used to make sugar we also eat the uh, stems of plants like potato ginger and garlic we eat some of the leaves like leaves of the spinach cabbage lettuce coriander and mint we eat flowers of various plant like cauliflower and banana as a vegetable we all are eating fruit you are eating fruit na like we are eating the apples or tomatoes brinjals lady finger and pumpkin etc though we uh, classify each them of some of the fruit as vegetable and now seed we eat 
सीड्स ऑफ विषम प्लांट्स लाइक मूंग किडनी बीन्स एंड चिकपी आर सीड्स ऑफ सम प्लांट विच आर कॉल्ड एस पल्सिस वीट मेज एंड राइज आर कॉल्ड सीरियल्स एंड सीड्स ऑफ क्यूमिन पेपर फेनुग्रिक एंड कार्डमन आर ईटन एस स्पाइसिस सो सीड्स ऑफ वेरियस प्लांट आर सम ऑफ द प्लांट्स आर यूज एस पल्सिस लाइक किडनी बीन्स मूंग एंड चिकपी some of them are used as cereals like wheat maize and rice and some of the seeds are used as spices like cumin pepper fenugi and cardamom we also eat some seed after they sprout sprouted seeds are very healthy for sprouting we first soak the seed in water and then after few hours we drain the water from the leaf and then With let them to be germinate. After they germinate, we eat, cook the them or eat them as uncooked. Some of the example of sprouted seed are moong dal, chickpeas, and beans. Now other sources from where we get the food. The other sources is animal. We also eat many animal product to get the energy. Like we eat. get energy from the or we eat foods like meat eggs honey milk cheese butter and curd what are the animal product we eat we consume we consume and animal products like meat eggs honey milk cheese and butter now one by one we are going to see each product meat we eat meat of animals such as goat chicken fish and prawns we again we eat the meat of many animals such as goat chicken fish and prawns eggs we get eggs from the birds such as hens duck and geese we get the eggs from hens duck and geese eggs are rich sources of protein and vitamins already we discussed that the vitamins are required for keeping our body healthy and to protect us from many diseases and protein helps in the growth and development of the body next the animal product we use is the honey we get honey from the bee hives where do we get the honey we get the honey from the bee hives which are made by the bees to store the nectar of the flower in the form of honey bee hives are used by the honey bees to store the nectar of the flower in the form of honey what is a honey honey is a sweet liquid and is also considered to be healthy for our body honey is a sweet liquid that is considered to be healthy for our body next we will talk about milk what is a milk milk is a liquid that we obtain from animals we get milk from animals such as goat cow buffalo milk is a rich source of calcium vitamin and proteins milk is considered to be rich in calcium vitamins and protein therefore milk is considered to be nutritious healthy food what is uh, considered as most nutrition and healthy food milk is considered as a most healthy and nutritious food now through pictures we can see uh, what are the animals and plant products so what are the animals and plant product S roots stems leaves flowers fruits seeds these are consumed as the these all are consumed as the plant product whereas meat fish egg honey milk these are all considered as the animal product now we will get some more information about the milk milk is used to make many other product other than drinking directly milk we also use milk for some other things like we get other products from the milk which are called as dairy products the other product of the milks are paneer cheese cream butter ghee and curd 
Milk is used to make other many products which are also called dairy products. Some of the dairy products are paneer, ghee, cheese, cream, butter and curd. Paneer. Paneer is also called as a cottage cheese. It is made by adding lemon juice or vinegar to hot milk. Cheese is prepared by curdling of milk. Cheese is prepared by curdling of milk. We get cream from the top fatty layer of the milk. Butter is made by churnishing fresh cream. Ghee is made by heating butter. We can prepare curd at home by adding a small sample of curd in warm milk and leaving in undisturbed. The sample of curd contains bacteria also called lactobacillus which turns milk into curd. So I think have you have understood this and now you have to answer some of the questions.